What's up guys? Welcome back to class with me, Acro Brandon. We're going to be doing a pole power level 2 plus class today. If you're not sure what that means, it means that you're a level 2.5 student and up. So if you're in level 2, you're starting to learn how to do inversions, right? Choppering back, inside leg hooks, outside leg hooks, and maybe one of the uh, any of the five main inversions that we have there, okay? So if you're a two and a half student, it means that you've got at least a good few choppers naturally happening for you. You can start to do all the leg hangs without too much explanation, or you're beyond that, and you're still here for a good power workout. So once again, we're gonna do a 60 minute express class with a 15 minute warm up roughly. Most of this stuff I'm gonna be doing in real time with you, but there might be some opportunities to hit pause and then do the work at yourself. Also, I wanna welcome you to this amazing new studio space that we have here. I know it's been a while since I've made my last video, but now we finally have a virtual recording studio where I'm going to be hosting more classes such as this. I'm actually gonna be switching over to Zoom after this, so look for my schedule this week depending on when you're watching it. Uh, the link will be in my bio as well as on Instagram for you to find the schedule. Some of the classes will be donation based, some of them will be pay based, and then I'm going to start compiling all of these recordings and different classes that may not happen via Zoom or online and shipping those into a pay website where you can kind of learn at your own pace depending on what that information is. Also, today I want to try a new feature, okay? I mean, it's not new, but it's new for these videos. So I wanna try something called mirroring with the image, right? So that way when I move a particular direction, it looks like you're moving in the same direction. So as an example, right now, this is my right hand, this is my left hand. If I ask you to stick your right hand out, if you look at yourself, you'll probably have this hand out, okay? So if I were to mirror it, when I say put your right hand out, now your right hand actually mirrors my hand in here. So we don't need to go and say left and right and get things all crazy. I think it's actually gonna make a better experience, especially in the warm up. That way when I'm like, all right, here we go, we're gonna shift to the right. As I go to the right and you go to the right, we're actually both going in the same direction from the left side to the right side, the left side and right side. So let me know what you think about this in the comments and personal feedback. Uh, I'd like to get your take on this. I think it's actually gonna be pretty good and it's gonna work out overall. Okay, cool. So let's get into the warm up here. Okay, if you want to play a little background music, you're more than welcome to. Obviously, I'm not going to. That way, you can hear me over the camera. But we're just going to start with our feet a little bit wider than the hips. Yes, from here in, nice and slow, reaching with the arms up. Little large back, folding over, scoop at the bottom. A couple slow ones to start. Up, arch, fold and scoop. Couple more. Last full one. Stay standing, dropping the arm. Rolling the shoulders to the back. Keep going. This studio is super nice. Got like nine feet of pole now. Yeah, lots of lighting, lots of equipment. And shift it to the front, rolling it out. Well, she'll be able to do photo shoots, video shoots. I'm also going to be expanding my photography portfolio, try to transition from a hobbyist into something a little more professional. And back to center. From here, the ribs, chest forward, arch back. Back and round. Front and arch. Back and round. Three. Two. Last full one. Back to center, pausing here. Keeping the chest steady, slide the ribs to the right, to the left, side, to side. Today's actually phase two, where all the gyms reopen in Connecticut. A couple more. I'm not going to the gym anytime soon, especially when I have a space like this now. Okay, last one. Back to center. Take the chest, pop it forward, and then taking it around to the right side. Rib circles to the right. Is this mirroring action actually working out better for you? Other way. Last full one. Back to center. Down into the pelvis, tucking it forward, tilting it back. Tuck, tilt, front and back. Four, three, two, one. Stay low, tips to the right and left. Right and left. And hopefully the mirror is kicking and ass. Two more. Last one. And back to center from here. Arch melted forward, 
forward fold. Straighten out the legs. Dangle, swivel, swing, whatever's feeling good for you. You can grab the wrists and elbows, swing it out, shake it out. Loosening up the hamstrings. Slow it down this rock. Walk it over to the left side, left ankle, right hand, left arm in the air for a twist. Rolling out the wrist, four, three, two, one. Other direction, four, three, two, one. Pausing here, twisting a little bit deeper, and then taking it back down. Walking it to the other side. Right ankle, left hand, right hand in the air. Rolling out the wrist, four, three, two, one. Other direction, four, three, two, one. Pausing, twisting. Bringing it back down. Hands are on the mat in front of you, arms straight and locked out. Looking forward the entire time. Getting ready to squat the booty to the floor. Nice and slow. Here we go. And down. And down. Three. Two. One. Back to center here. Pause. Tucking the pelvis, rolling up nice and slow. And then arching and melting all the way back down. Tucking the pelvis, rolling up to the spine. Arch and melt back down. A couple more. Last full one, feels really good. Pausing at the top, inhaling in. Exhale out. And then we reverse. Head, chin, chest, dive. Straight legs, head first. Chin, chest, dive. Straight legs, head up. Three. Two. Last full one. Pausing at the top. Shift the hips left and right. Opening up the stance a little bit, getting ready for side lunges left and right. Here we go, to the right side. Add in the arm. Three, two, last full one. Pausing on the right side, and then bring it down the rest of the way. Okay, if you can't get the right foot nice and flat, use blocks to prop yourself up. Maybe you need to be a little bit higher, but no pointing through the foot, okay? You can only go this low if you can get the flat foot, okay? If your leg is going all fucking weird and the inside blade is mostly connected, no, 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 no. Turn that back out. Use the elbow or stay a little bit higher. Turning to the right, runner's lunge, rocking it out. Slowing down the rock, rear legs straight and engaged. Little pulses of the pelvis to the ground. Three, two, one. Step it up halfway, triangle pose, folding, relaxing. Hips are nice and square. Feeling down the front leg. And then from here, see if you can straighten the front leg a little bit more. Squeeze the quad. Try to get the backs of the knee to push forward or backward, whatever direction that is, yeah? Back of the knee gets further away from the front of the kneecap. And then rocking it out, pushing up the back of the point. Rock back, flex front. Four. Three. Two. Last full one point. Flex, step it back, runner's lunge. Hands on the inside of the front leg, turning back to the front, shifting. Other side. Same deal over here. Trying to get the flat foot on the left foot. A little bit tight. I haven't been doing a whole lot since I stopped making videos. Actually, I lied. I did man stuff. Decorated this place, organized the house, you know, built some things, broke out the drills and shit. It was awesome. Turning to the left, runner's lunge, rocking it out. Do you guys remember tool time? Tim the ta tool man Taylor? Oh, 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 oh. If you don't, you need to check it out. Slowing down the rock, rear leg straight and engage. Little pulses of the pelvis. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Step it up halfway, triangle pose, holding, relaxing. Trying to get the front leg a little bit straighter. Squeezing the quad, nice and locked out. No micro bends. Balance out the weight between the left and the right foot. I tend to shift towards my rear foot to the right side. And then rocking it up. Four. Three, two, one. Stepping it back. Runner's lunge, hands on the inside of the front leg, turning back to the front, coming back to the center. 
readjust. Nice deep sumo squat. Grand plie. Knees a little bit wider than the hips. No hands if you can. Body upright. And first position. And second position. And th I don't even know. I took ballet once. It pissed me off. But I probably was very <laughs> Down to the forearms. A little bit deeper. I'd be a terrible ballet pe person. I ain't no ballerina or baller man. Turning to the left. Pushing up on the right. Other direction. And then back to center. Hands are down on the mat in front of you. Up onto the balls of the feet. Push, push, point, point. Haven't done this one in a while. This feels actually pretty good. Releasing the heels down. One more time. Up onto the balls of the feet. Push, push, point, point. Lift the hands. Try to squeeze and balance if you can. Ooh. Try to stand all the way up. Let's try to stay on the toes. Come on, Brandon. We can do this. No. Oh, I had to drop. Okay, a little more practice. From here, parallel the feet. Another forward fold. Just shift the legs, the hips, side to side, rocking it out. And then from here, square up on your mat into a down dog, whatever direction that you want to. Settling off the legs. And then settling in. Fingers spread wide, hands are active. Yes, chest sinking between the shoulders. Yes, maybe trying to get the heels to touch the ground. If not, at least trying to straighten and lock out the legs for right now, even if the heels are hovering. Shifting forward, top of plank, shoulders over the wrist. If you need to drop to your knees, you can, otherwise you're in a full plank if you got one. Pushing back down dog. Couple breaths here. Once again, chest sinking towards the knees, pushing through the shoulders, out of the shoulders, straightening the legs, trying to get the heels towards the floor. One more time, shifting forward, top of plank, full or modified. Dropping to the bottom of the push-up, hovering off of the ground here. If you cannot hover off of the ground, this is not break time. Push into the ground like you're trying to hover, like there's dirty water on the ground or something disgusting, and you don't want to touch it, okay? But push, even if you can't hold the bottom of a push-up. Into an up dog, switching over to the tops of the feet, thighs are off of the ground, arms are nice and straight and locked out. Pushing back down dog one last time. One more time, shifting forward to plank, drop the knees, open them wide, child's pose. Knees wide, feet together, booty on heels, arms and hands are out in front of you. And then just rock the shoulders to the right and left while the hands are still out in front of you. Like you're trying to touch your armpit to the ground. If you could, that would be impressive. And then from here, shifting forward into a tabletop. Shoulders over the wrists, hips are over the knees. Maybe checking yourself out in the mirror if you have one. Hopefully you do. Yes? From here, simple cat and cow. Think about tilting the pelvis. It rolls through the spine and then the head lifts last. Tucking the pelvis, the spine rounds, the head drops last. Tilting the pelvis. Tucking the pelvis. Tilting. And tucking. Keep going. And then taking it on a rotation, rolling cat and cat. Whatever direction, still initiating from the pelvis. Other way. And back to sit there. From here, tucking the pelvis, tucking the toes, sorry. And back up. Down dog, almost there. Walking the hands back towards the feet. Forward fold. Soften the knees, rolling up to standing. We're almost there. I'm going to do a couple little leg things. We're going to do a little cardio leg here once we get to the pull in a sec, okay? So we're going to open our feet up a little bit wider than the hips. We're just going to take some squats here, yeah? Steady pace, not too fast, not too slow. Yeah, you can bring the hands up, you can hold them here while you do it, I don't really care. For me, I kind of do something like this. I'm not really sure why. I kind of like this moving sensation. Just warming up the thighs. Some squats. I'm gonna bunce steel. 
summer is upon us. Jon Snow. Boom. Here we go. Okay, from here, heel and toe your feet just a little bit closer. Okay, we're gonna do a few squat jumps. Nothing too crazy, but we just really want to explode through the legs so we get some height. Yes. So, as we come down, we're gonna jump and back into it. Yes. Up and back. Up and back. Up and back. Up and back. Okay, last one. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch it up with the hands. Are you ready? Huff and puff, and I'm like, I just did four small last ones. I'm like, <gasps> right. Okay, so now as we jump up, as I extend, I'm going to reach above me in the air. So it's almost like I'm like, ha, ah, jumping for joy, but through a squat, yeah? Okay, so now we're gonna bend our knees, our hands are gonna be by our side. Here we go, we jump, reach, squat, jump, reach, squat, jump, reach, squat, jump, reach, two more. Last one, use the arms to help lift you up higher, okay? Boom. How do you think about that, huh? Run it out. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so now we're gonna move into class. So take a quick breath. I'm gonna switch into something a little more comfortable. Yeah, I'm gonna put the mat away, and then we're gonna get started with class. Okay, so let's get started with class, right? From the top down, you've probably got another 40 minutes worth of action here. If at any point you need to hit stop, take a breath, whatever, you're more than welcome to, or you can just try and power through and see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be doing the work here along with you for the most part as well. Okay, so no class would be complete if we didn't start up with some grip strengths. I've got two exercises for you, okay, and then we're going to do a little cardio for a minute where I'll break out the timer and we'll do it together, okay? So, first thing we're going to do, just my straight arm hangs, okay? You've seen me do these a bunch of times. Okay, I'm going to jump up just a little bit, okay? Maybe you need, if you're new to this, but you're probably not because you're one of my followers, yes? is you're gonna reach up really high. Both the hands are gonna be right on top of each other in a baseball grip. You're gonna try and keep the arms locked out or as straight as possible. There might be a micro bend, and usually the lower arm has a little bit more bend than the top arm because they are not able to be stacked on top of each other with full extension, right? When one is shorter, there's gonna be a little bit of a bend, okay? So we reach up high, I'm squeezing with both. Yes, my arms are straight and locked out. I push my chest forward. I'm kind of connected through the sternum and diaphragm, right? My legs open into this little uh, straddle right here, nothing too crazy, okay? And we're gonna hang for 10 seconds, okay? So if you find that you start to slip as you're holding, fight for it, grab harder, try not to touch the ground, do whatever it is. Don't just give up and be like, oh, I'm slipping, fuck it, no. Power through, yes, try to hold as long as you can, and if you slip and fall off, get back up there, okay? Imagine it's a competition for a million dollars. The last thing you do is like, no, you'd be like, fuck, a million dollars, let me hold on as much as I can, okay? Cool, so we're gonna do this together. I'm gonna do a couple sets on each side. I'll do it from a few different angles as we rotate around. But here we go, okay? I'm gonna start with the right hand on top, but you do whatever side you want first. It's your choice, just remember where you started, so then we know where we need to end. Okay, coming off the ground in three, two, one. We're up, one hand is high, one hand is right below. The arms are nice and straight locked out. Don't be pulling yourself in. Chest is forward, head is back. Mild straddle here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then releasing back down, okay? Now, whenever we dismount the pole, okay, try to make a habit of when you come off of the pole, that you try to make your dismounts as clean and as quiet as possible, okay? Because what happens is if we start to do work, and we always are like, oh my God, it's so hard, and we crash off every time, we're training our brain to exit in a non-aesthetic type of way. So I'm asking you to start moving your brain processing here into, you know, more nice, more pretty, more quiet, more presentable exits and distance. Okay? I'm going to do the other side. Now we're going to switch hands. I did the right hand the first time. Now I'm going to do the left hand on top. I'm going to be facing the camera this time just so you have a different perspective. Okay? Coming off the ground in three, two, one. You're hanging, both hands stacked on top, both arms as straight as possible, but you are still engaged in pulling through the shoulders. Chest forward, legs back, mild straddle, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And back down nice and slow, okay? Quick couple quick breaths, nothing too crazy, yeah? If you need to wipe down the pole, you can, but we're not doing the whole, like, two minutes of rest in between each set and the whole ceremonial uh, 
dry handings of our hands and cleaning of the pole. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing again, right side, left side. As you dismount the pole, this time I want a little bit of a swing from the legs, okay? So we'll look something like this. You're hanging, we're getting done, and you're gonna swing the legs forward, and then pop off, okay? Now you can pop off the way I did. I don't really care so much for the landing, but maybe something together like this, and catch, okay? So, how does this work? As I start to bring the legs forward, I'm going to tuck the pelvis right before my junk hits the pole, and that'll prevent me from crushing anything. You too, okay? So don't just think of like, ha, and then really like banging all of your junk into the pole, because that's gonna suck. It's almost like if somebody's gonna come kick you between the legs, you'd be like, ah. Right? The automatic knee-jerk reaction is to tuck and pull back. That's actually the little bit of space that you need to get your legs forward as your chest is still on the pole. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So, here we go. I'm doing right hand high again. And there may be something different, it's your choice. Here we go. Up, oh, we're hanging, chest forward, arms are engaged. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Pull finger straddle a little bit while you're 4, 3, 2, 1. Swing forward and back, yes? And as I backswing, I tend to give myself just a little bit of a pull, and that's what gives me a little bit of lightness, loftiness as I do it, okay? So, a couple breaths, switch to the other side, nothing too long. This time I'll do it with my booty facing you, so you get this kind of like rear view uh, action here. Left hand is gonna be high this time for me. Here we go, we're hanging, we're up, okay? Get the arm straight, we're engaged. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and land. Yeah? Okay, nice and quiet if we can be. Okay. Okay, couple breaths here. Now we can wipe down the pole. Maybe you can grab a little water or you want to, whatever. Nothing, not, we're not doing a super long break because it's only a 60 minute class and we already wasted 20 on the warm ups. We only got 40, we're almost there. Yes? We're going to do another grip exercise. Okay? We're going to do my brass monkey type of grip, okay? So if you're upside down, right, this is proper brass monkey, and you'd be in this shape like this, except I would be upside down. So this would be brass monkey, okay? But we're just gonna focus on the brass monkey arms, okay? So the arms look like this, okay? If I'm gonna come in, this is my left side of my body, okay? This is my power side, of course, I'm gonna start with, okay? And I'll do it from a couple different angles so you can see it. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna try to be on the tippy toes. I'm squeezing with the armpit and the elbow is trying to close it. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to like hold a, I don't know, a binder or some papers under my armpit and I'm squeezing really tight. Yeah, okay. Then my hand is here. I've got a gun grip on the top hand. I've got a gun grip on the bottom hand, okay? Top wrist isolation. You should see this in some of my other videos, okay? So as I squeeze here, I'm gonna be pushing down on the pole. This other arm is perfectly straight for the most part, and I'm gonna be pushing away. And as I squeeze and push and pull, then I should be able to levitate here, okay? Let me turn towards the front so you can see it from here, okay? My elbow is up high, but you don't wanna to get too high because then you start to get into like, your weight is pushing you deep into a stretch and you can't actually come back. So you'd be better off if you find yourself sliding a bunch when you get into it, to grab a little bit lower, knowing that your arm is going to slide up and it needs to lock out at this point, okay? So, especially if you have really flexible shoulders, like this is as high as I can get, but if you can get your arms higher just naturally, so you need to be able to squeeze that muscle down before you hit your maximum range of motion because I cannot believe that if your arm could go all the way up there that you would have power to come out of this position, okay? No matter how strong you are, okay? So, from once again, here I am hanging. This bottom arm, I'm not pop, like propping myself up in like a, a side slap, okay? This arm is straight and it's pushing away and I'm trying to keep my chest lifted. I'm not, not turning around, but I'm just trying to be as neutral as possible, okay? And then I'll do it from over here on this side as so you can see it and we'll all do it together, right? I'm pushing down and away, okay? So that's gonna be the first drill, okay? So you may not be able to push yourself up and have the legs down. So if you wanna tuck your knees up or do whatever you can, really you're just trying to keep the legs up off the ground from touching. Once again, we're gonna go for 10 and then we'll come back out of this, okay? So, I'm on my left side, okay? This is my left arm hit. My right arm is down here. Okay, I'm up on my tiptoes. Boom, here we go. Try to sink in, try to grab, try to push down so that your body goes up coming off the ground in three, two, one. Here we hang, five, four, three, Two, and one. Coming back nice and slow, nice and graceful, okay? This 
This is good. Yes? Okay. I'm going to switch over to the right side. Okay. Minimal downtime. Give it a quick wipe. Throw the shit to the side. Power through. Let's train the hands. Okay. Boom. Now I'm on my right side. Okay. I'm feeling a little sweaty in the armpit. This does get kind of armpitty. Okay. Here we go. Outside hand reaching low. Both are pushing down while squeezing at the same time. Levitating. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back nice and brisk. Take a breath. We're going to go to the other side in just a sec. Okay. Now, if you need to hit pause so you can play with this a few more times, you could totally do that. I highly recommend it if you're having challenges. If you're grabbing and you're like sliding and you're not figuring it out, yeah, maybe you want to hit pause just so you can figure it out. Okay. The second exercise, if this is working good for you, you're like, yeah, I got these. Okay. Then we're going to look at our shoulder shrugs, right? Typically, this is a shoulder shrug. Okay. But we can also, I call them shrugs, but we're pushing down in a way instead. Okay. So we're going to be in this position, right? When we're holding, our body is trying to sink in between our arms, and we are trying to push ourselves up for elevation. Okay. So it's different than pulling up, like lifting two heavy grocery bags. Now we want to like push something down, like you're trying to, I don't know, push a rubber band down from the ceiling, like you're pushing a bar down, or I don't know, you're trying to submerge, I don't know, a bucket in water, right? You're extending and pushing down. Okay, so as we hold, now what we're going to think about is our neutral spot where we're engaged, but now we want to think about pushing down just through the shoulders, and so this is like a brass monkey shrug, if you will. Okay, so it looks like this. Here I am, I'm hanging. This is just my neutral spot. And from here, I want to push, push, push. Okay, it's just the shoulders that are moving. Okay, it's not booty, booty. Okay, this is what I tend to see, right? You're like, okay, I can't move. Ugh. Push through the shoulders, down and up. Down and up, okay? No amount of moving your ass is going to get the shoulders to go anywhere because the ass bone is connected to the shoulder bone, okay? And this is what needs to move right here, okay? So, you might be like, this is so hard, how do I do this? Well, there are a couple of other pointers and then we're going to do it together, okay? When I'm reaching and I'm grabbing down, what I don't want to do is on this bottom arm is reach too far down, right? Because if I'm reaching all the way out of this socket, there is nothing left to push with. Does that make sense? Whereas if I just keep my arm here, I can move that a little bit. Yeah, neutral, down, okay? Neutral, down. If I'm reaching as far down as my arm and my shoulder can extend, what else am I able to push out with? Okay, so balance between both arms gives you elevation, okay? Okay, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Good, so here we are. I'm gonna start on my left side once again. So my left armpit, okay, here we go. We're hovering, we're holding, three, two, one, and then extending and pushing out. Out and up. 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 Five. Yay, Brandon. Okay. So you're like, dude, those are impossible. We need to get good at those, okay? If you're having a really difficult time with these and you want, like, what's an easier drill? Do a handstand against the wall. Yes, handstands, pushing out of the shoulders, back down. Pushing out of the shoulders and back down. This is an easy drill to use where it's just you versus the pole working on pushing down because eventually, yes, you will be upside down in a brass monkey and you can't just sink into your hands and collapse because if you do that, game over on that move. You're getting off of the pole one way or another, hopefully with control, but you could eat shit because you don't have the control to hold your body up through the shoulders when you're upside down, okay? Because the legs are only gonna help so much. But as we start to transition to other moves, handsprings, okay? All the upside down stuff where you're gonna have an arm up and an arm down and the bottom arm needs to be strong in the shoulder socket to push away so that the body can go up so that you don't collapse on your stuff, okay? Cool, other side, here we go. Coming off the ground, three, two, one, we levitate. Three, two, one, push, extend. Push, extend. Three, four, and five. Okay, now we can take a quick breath. Now we can do a little wipe down action on the pole, okay? Because this is like tons of armpit, tons of sweat, kind of grossy, grossy, grossy. But what you also want to do is you want to be conditioning things like this, because if this is hard for you, and you start to transition through, you know, sweaty kind of mood, moves that make you sweat, that sweat eventually turns into a slippery pole, making your pole a little more dangerous, or you not being able to 
enjoy as much work or whatever your combo is, right? So basically we're conditioning ourselves to become comfortable so we don't sweat as much. That way we can transition through longer combos and sequences and stuff like that, okay? Okay, so while you're cleaning up, now we're gonna do a minute of cardio, okay? So we're gonna come back. So I'm gonna get the timer out here in just a second, okay? Now we're gonna go into our hangs, back swings, and down, okay? So we're gonna be looking at a dive, like a casting swing to the pole, okay? We already did the arms, we have the chest forward, we know we can swing back, we know we can land, bah, ah, the squat jumps, and back up. So now we're gonna be looking at diving to the pole, okay? This is the hard part, because when you reach up and grab, your natural inclination is gonna to wanna to pull yourself in. Mm -hmm. You just need to grab with straight arms, watch. Ready? And back down, okay? Don't do this. And squeeze and hold, okay? We want to roll off the chest. So when you jump up, the head is back. Why? Because when you tilt the head back, okay, it forces the chest forward and the whole body moves into an arch shape, okay? That's reason number one. Reason number two is because you don't want to smash your face on the pole, okay? Obviously, okay? Look away! Yes? And you won't smash your face, okay? But pulling the head back, forces the chest forward, and then you have this nice round shape through the body to roll off of. Does that make sense? Okay, so when you jump up, you wanna try and reach as high as you can, okay, without pulling yourself up. So try to reach for the top even though it's impossible. Don't worry about pulling your body up. Just grab it straight hands, forward, back, and land, okay? Now, if you are right in front of the pole, you're gonna have a hard time getting a swing because you're jumping straight up and there's no energy for the lower half of your body to go forward. So I recommend taking a step back, okay? A foot and a half, okay, maybe two, okay? So that you can jump forward, so that way the legs pull back, yeah? It's almost like doing an imaginary dive, right? You reach out, you reach forward, but the legs go backwards and you stay in place, yes? Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit pause really quick. I want you to practice some of these on the left side and on the right side until you start getting comfortable. And then when you're like, yeah, I got this, now we're gonna do some cardio with it, okay? So hitting pause, three, two, and one. All right, and we're back. Mm -hmm. Timer time, okay? So we are going to do a minute of casting dives slash squat jumps, okay? Mm -hmm. This is gonna suck, it's gonna be fun too though. Get the legs all ready, yeah? Beach ready. Bah! Look at that, looks good. Well, it's almost like I'm like a kickboxer, okay? Meet your heart out, John Claude and Dan. Okay, so we're gonna do a minute. Okay, so get yourself set up, okay? And we wanna try and come back, land, boom, right back into the next one. Don't just stop, okay? So when you land, don't come here and land and you're like, okay, here we go. Okay, maybe after like five to 10, you start to get winded, that's okay. But don't stop and go like, Mm, okay, what we want to do is come back, down, up, back, down, here, up, back, down, here. Whoo, have a little fun! Ha ha! Woo! Okay, and then coming back at it. That's what we're doing for a minute, okay? Three of those. <laughs> Just a little while. Okay, we're going to do that with you together. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, take a couple deep breaths. Yeah, pre oxygenate the blood. Okay. I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna give us 10 seconds until we start. Yes? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, start moving your ass. Here we go. Count yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, halfway, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen seconds, fourteen, six, fifteen, I don't know, sixteen, five seconds, seventeen, 18. <sighs> Fuck yeah. I did that just for you. Don't forget to tip me. <laughs> That's good. How do you feel? 
I got 18 in a minute, plus the three that I did as a demonstration for you. So 21, yeah, it's fun. Trying to get a little rhythm, jog it out a little bit. Okay, good. Take two minutes, two minute break. We'll move on to the next move. All right, are we done huffing and puffing? I am, kind of, sort of, okay? So, and I really didn't take like a 10 minute break and then clip back over here, okay? So, <clears throat> now, we're gonna do probably two or three more things and then that'll be it for the 60 minute class, okay? We're gonna do like a climb and a little leg workout action here. First, we're gonna do a power spin, okay? So we're gonna do a static spin, okay? It's gonna be a forearm or like a half bracket -y kind of spin. This tends to lead into my hitch kick and some other crazy cool stuff. But right now, I really just wanna focus on like a really good foosball kind of shape, okay? So we're gonna walk around the pole. Let me show you what it looks like and then we'll talk about it. Aha, okay? So we're gonna do this forearm bracket kind of spin, okay? So you're gonna walk around. Yes, you're going to step into it, yes, you're going to step with the inside leg as you leap up, okay? This is not a straight jump up, okay, because we're starting to build energy circular, right, around the base of the pole, okay? So we want to maintain this nice static spin that we're going to have here, okay? The inside arm is going to come into like a half bracket kind of pose, okay? So I'm grabbing with the inside hand, the forearm is coming down, and you can see my entire forearm is now on the pole, like so, okay? It's kicked out to the side. It's almost like my elbow is leading my hand, okay? That's actually a good cue. I've taught this many a time. So I want you to think about the elbow is leading the hand, and the hand is just following, but the hand obviously is gripping and pulling. We have a few different things that are happening, okay? So as I'm spinning, I am pushing away with my forearm. My forearm is from here to here, okay, into this shape, but really the majority of my push comes from the upper half, okay, because this has connection to the pole. But I don't want to grab so tight that my static spin comes to an end very quickly, okay? So it's almost like if I was going to make it really low, right, I'd be leaning like this into the pole, and you could try this, it's kind of hard, yes, because I'm not moving, right, I'm leaning into the pole where we have centrifugal force trying to pull us away, okay? The outside hand is going to be on top. This is a double cup grip. Cup grip, cup grip, boom. One hand on top of the other. Not way up here, not none of this crazy shit. Keep it sideways here, okay? So as you start to come around the pole, I want you to think about getting wider around from the base of the pole. Don't do this. Don't run with your feet close to the base of the pole while you're making a D shape on the inside. Because what happens is that you start to go into this, if you try to lift your feet, it's gonna whip out to the side and then it's gonna pull you even harder, okay? So as I come around, I'm getting set up, okay? I cannot start with the elbow forward because we just can't. We need some space to work around the pole, but when it's time, it's almost like I'm winding this little spiral. It's wide, it's wide, it's wide. Cut to the inside, okay? That's when I bring the elbow down, okay? So watching again, come around. Forearm and up, okay? In just enough to pull my body in, okay? Now, as I start to go, Okay, I'm gonna pull with this arm, okay? It's almost like I'm side stretching over here, okay? I wanna drop my inside shoulder towards the ground because that'll help bring the chest sideways and the hips will wanna come up naturally with that. And I'm also gonna look back, okay? Try to watch your ass as you spin. Why? Because if I pull my head back, it pushes the chest forward and we get this nice archy shape, okay? You don't need to spin like this, like in a full on arch arch, but we do want less neutral definitely not hollow, okay? And then when you jump, nice and tight, like you're in the military. Stand up straight, squeeze the entire body, everything. Squeeze your ass, hips are forward a little bit. Everything is tight. As soon as you decide to spin, you lock, lock down. Not like, here, let me spin. Oh, I forgot to lock down. No, as soon as you jump and go, lock that shit down, okay? Here we go, I'm coming around. One, two, inside, go, squeeze. Look forward, hey, hey ass, you look good back there. Okay, that will help you set the spin in a really nice straight position. Let me try the other side. This side gets a little wonky because it's not my power side. Right, and around. There we go. And oh, not too shabby. Okay, so when I lead with this inside leg, this other leg needs to come forward to meet everything. Yeah, it's almost like a 
wedding walk, right? Or something like that, okay? So that's what you're gonna play with. Once again, here you get to hit pause, okay? Try it, left side, right side, try to make it look like what I'm doing. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, put those in the thing below. All right, how did that go? Hopefully good. Like I said, leave me some comments if it didn't. Okay, so now we're gonna do a couple climbs and then I think we're actually gonna be done after this, okay? So we're gonna look at a side climb. Okay. But before we do the side climb, I'm going to show you the side climb. We're going to actually practice some leg strength and some arms, just barely coming off the ground, okay? So if you've done a side climb before, right, you come with the inside leg. You can put it high because we're going to be going up anyways. Yes, but it's like we're about to do a genie or a cupid, or I call it a lean out in Chinese pole because you lean out with it, okay? But it's the inside leg hook, you're leaning away from the pole. Inside hand is high, outside hand is across the chest. There is, this is mixed review. Some people like to start low and grab high. I personally don't like covering up my face when I start climbing. I like to be like, hey, okay? So I usually start with the inside arm high and the outside hand across the chest. That way when I start to climb, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna climb and this is so fucking fun. Pole dancing, yay, okay? So, and that's what's gonna happen, right? So we're gonna have an inside arm high, outside hands across the chest, this knee pit is squeezing and then pushing down at the same time so I can lift the lower half. And then when I come off of the ground, the outside leg comes behind the pole and I'm kind of scissoring between these two points, the back of my knee and the top of my ankle. And I'm holding on here, okay? But what we're gonna do really quick is we're actually gonna hang out here just for a 10 count on each side. So as I pull across, I'm here, boom, I'm squeezing with the leg and then lift the other foot off of the ground just to hang out here. I want to really strengthen the inside leg hold for that, okay? So I'm going to start on my right side just because I feel like switching it up. That's actually my good side over there. So this is my inside right leg hooking here, okay? I'm on this side. It's going to be good, okay? Inside arm is high. Outside hand is across the chest. Yes, we're just going to levitate. So you're going to pull down with this arm. You're pulling across and pushing down at the same time. If that's even possible, push and pull, pull, pull and push. Yes, and then squeezing with this leg coming down. Here we go, coming off the ground in three, two, one. Our foot is hanging out here. It could be behind, I don't care. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Coming back off. Take a quick breath. Other side, we're only going to do one on each side. Nice and quick and easy. Inside leg, once again, other side, so my left leg over here. Inside hand high. Outside hand across the chest, pulling down, push, pull, yes, coming off the ground, three, two, one, levitate. You could do something, but don't touch the pole. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and coming back. Now, if you are able to get that outside hand off, that's a good sign, okay? Now that we know that the insides are both nice and strong, we can actually be doing some other things with the hands, showing off, right, just itching ourselves, being like da 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 da, okay, fussy, okay. So now we're gonna climb, okay. We're just gonna climb. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a fan to a sit. I'm not gonna spend too much time teaching that because we should know a fan to a sit. But if you've got, if you need to, so here we go. Inside leg squeeze. Inside arm is high. This is across the chest, and then I start to climb. I pull it. I squeeze. Boom. I pull up the hands and extend through the legs, and I stand up. Okay. Reaching outside hand over. This inside arm comes into a forearm bracket. Okay. From here, I'm gonna forearm bracket. Hold with the arms. Legs. Up again. Oh, that's all I get. Okay. Boom, you're up, boom, you're here, okay? Now, if you're in this position, inside is a forearm, outside is reaching above, straighten the inside leg, hold with the forearm bracket, fan. Lean to the outside, into a sit, and then come back down. Okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We'll do one on each side, okay, together but three is usually good, okay? So here I can get two climbs, okay? Typically on a, a slightly larger pole, a 12 foot pole, you should be able to get three good climbs, okay? And if you didn't notice, okay, here's what I need you to pay attention to, is as you start to climb, as you extend the legs, your body goes up, but the legs do not slide down the pole, okay? So don't give me one of these. Here we go. 
Okay, I'm up, okay? You need to squeeze tighter. It's gonna suck, okay? Look at the top of my shin, or my like, it's, it's ankle, but it's not quite ankle. Like this little soft area where there's a bunch of like, I don't know what, tendons or ligaments or something, okay? That are up here. That's the soft spot that you need to squeeze and kick really hard into the pole with. And back here on the back of this leg, so that you have a lock in the legs to give you elevation, okay? So we're gonna do one set here, one set on the other side. You should probably do two sets total. Like I said, on a taller pole, I usually get about three climbs, and I'll do two to three climb sets, okay? So 10 is always a great number to shoot for, okay? So here we go together now. Inside, left leg, inside hand high, other out and across, boom, squeeze, pull. We start, we climb, we extend, we're up. Switch hands, forearm group, arms and legs. Climb again and up. Switch the hands, slide a little if you don't have enough height. Boom, straighten the inside leg, fan across, around, back. Ooh, look, I'm on the other side now. Good, and now I can transition to this side, okay? Here we go, keep at it, keep breathing. It's only 60 minute class, okay? No time for social media, no time to Insta. No time to Facebook, hopefully, and if you checked your Instagram during any of those breaks, you're a bad person, okay? It's only 60 minutes. Okay, here we go. Inside arm is high, inside leg, my right leg, outside hand across the body, boom, here we go. And stand, and reset. Arms, legs, this is my bad side, it feels weird. And stand, reset, boom, here we go. Straighten the inside leg, fan to a sit. Here we go, pause. Come back and out. Okay, so I'm going to call it there for class because I think that's about just right for a 60 minute class. I think you should pause this and do one or two more climb sets, especially if you're at home and you have eight feet and under. You're probably going to be doing the multiple sets, okay, until you get to about 10 climbs worth, okay? So, yesterday's class is actually really good to feel to come back and teaching again. Like I said, we have this new amazing studio. Okay, I am going to be shifting over to Zoom. So look for the link in my bio, wherever this is on whatever platform. If you want to donate, okay, I'm still accepting donations as I switch over, even though quarantine is almost over, I'm still living off of unemployment and that kind of stuff, but I am gonna try and transition into the virtual world for full-time teaching for the next few months, probably longer, because New York's a, wide, a ways away, okay? So let me know what you thought about the mirroring of the film. Remember, this is my right hand. But as you lift your right hand, the same one should be mirroring this. How that experience went for today's teaching, I might start doing that for all the different classes. Um, likewise, if you happen to be in the Connecticut area, we have a new studio opening in the end of July, not me. Someone is opening, it's called Empowered Aerial Fitness. It's gonna be in Stanford, so you can always commute up for that if you happen to be close. It's gonna be super huge, super big. So it's amazing for this area. Um, and likewise, we have this beautiful studio here, so if you're interested in photo, video shoots for poll or fashion, headshots, whatever it is, let me know as I try to expand my portfolio. So, the details are right here on how you can donate if you want to donate, depending on what platform you're watching this, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.